is Amy with TPF, Trips, Places, and Fun. People are always wanting to know what there is cheap or free to do outdoors in Branson, and today we have something to share with you. Right now we're at the Dewey Short Visitor Center, and we're right here by the dam. Behind me is Moonshine Beach. You can see Chateau on the Lake, the beautiful resort back there as well. So some wonderful scenery here. Now the Dewey Short Visitor Center is a great choice for something free to do. Unfortunately, it is currently closed right now due to COVID-19. However, there is a lot of stuff to do around here. Uh, one of them being the Table Rock Lake Shore Trail, which we love to do in nice weather. We're gonna show you some of that. There's some places to swim from here, some places to picnic, camping. So lots to do outdoors here. One of our favorite places to go. We hope you enjoy it too. Hey Amy, look at the, look at the level of the lake. People won't be able to really it's tell, getting, but yeah, it's getting ooh. really high. And so we've had a lot of rain this season. And usually when we get a lot of rain, they're going to have to open the floodgates and let some of this water out to bring down the level of the lake. So yes, yeah, getting, getting kind yeah, of crazy. Yeah, we get kind of nervous when it gets to this point because we've had some flooding in the past, unfortunately. All right, let's hike and talk about free and cheap in Branson, Missouri. All right. Look at this bench. It's underwater except for the back part of it. This is how high the water level is right now. We brought our tubes and our swimsuits. Wow, check this out, Amy. It is closed. Wow. Look at this. I've never seen the water this high. So this trail is what 2.2 miles? Is that what you said? Yes. Yep. From here to the marina. And a great walk, a beautiful walk along the lake. But wow, look at this. The trail's completely covered. I've never seen it like this before. This lake is extremely high. Whoa. This. So yeah. this trail, Amy, it, you know, it looks, you know, it's a beautiful trail, beautiful paved trail. Looks just like that this way for 2.2 miles. Um, but, but it's uh, underwater right, right now. Right now it's underwater. So Amy, what do you think about driving to the showboat? Yeah, let's let's bypass this part. And, and we'll see bypass this and pick the up trail. the trail at the showboat. Let's see what we can do. All right. Amazing. So crazy. All right, Amy, as we are we're gonna walk back to the car and we're gonna go to the showboat, right? Okay. While we're doing that, let's think of some free and cheap things. And why don't we start a little bit away from Branson? Okay. During the lockdown, our entire family spent a lot of time hiking in Arkansas, right? Boy, we saw some beautiful places with waterfalls and swimming holes and stuff like that. And so, yeah, there's lots of places like that within a two hour drive. So many. And you could take a whole day and just drive from place to place. Yeah, there's a you can look you can Google it. There is a waterfall loop that uh, takes you through. It's, it's Northwest Arkansas. So from Branson, you know, uh, we're talking an hour, hour and a half, kind of right in that time zone, but it is absolutely beautiful. And you're going to get out and you're going to hike. Depends on which trail you're on. Some of them are longer and a little more rough, but uh, once you get to the swimming hole, it's incredible. Yeah. So one of our favorites is called Kings River Falls. So you can search that and drive there if you're interested in doing that. And yeah, lots of good places around here. So that Fine. is free and cheap. So if you're ever in Branson and you're here for an extended time and you want to take a day, Arkansas definitely is the place to go. Oh, and Arkansas also has, now what do they call that? The Grand Canyon, the Arkansas Grand Canyon? Yeah, yeah something like that. Yeah. Yep. 
And so there is this road where you can overlook the Ozarks and it is, it's like the Grand Canyon only filled with beautiful trees and it's breathtaking. So if you are wanting some great views, check that out. Now I will say if you get easily car sick, that's something to take into consideration because that is a windy road. Right. And of course they have the Buffalo National River, which is breathtaking. Ooh, and you can go floating on the Buffalo River. Yep. And that is a great time. Now that's not free or cheap because you've got to You do. You usually pay, have to rent a canoe. Unless you have your own. Rent those sorts of things. But um, it's not extraordinarily expensive to do a canoe rental and stuff, but that's a lot of fun. Yep. So we're going to get in the car. Everybody stay tuned because we're going to keep talking about free and cheap things to do in Branson and I guess also in Northwest Arkansas. But we're gonna, we're gonna hit back into Branson in next. In Branson, within a two hour <laughs> drive. Yeah, most of this is gonna be within a 10 minute drive <laughs> or so. All right. This is where Lakeshore Trail continues back in there, right here by the showboat, which is currently closed, but opening again soon. So we are on the beautiful property of Showboat Branson Bell, and this particular trail cuts right through and so I'm actually on a driveway right now where cars uh, can drop off folks to go to the uh, showboat, but the trail is going to pick up right up here. All right, Amy, the water's getting close to the trail. It's actually quite beautiful here, huh? Yeah, it's pretty cool. So we were able to cut off part of the trail and now get back on it, even though the water is inching closer. Um, so some other free things to do. Since we're here, I'll talk about Moonshine Beach first. Actually, that's not free, but it's just very cheap. So when it's open, it's probably flooded right now, but when it's open, it's you just pay for a car load. So last time we went, I think it was $10 for your car load. So you could bring your whole family. It's one of the best places to swim in Branson there on Moonshine Beach. And you can have a whole day of fun for just paying a slight fee for a car load or a van load. Dad, it's flooding. What? <laughs> it's flooded? Oh, we can't. Oh, more flooding. What's that? Is gonna be no longer existent. You're why? Gonna wanna see what's up here. Oh no. It's way worse than what we just saw. This okay. is crazy. So the trail goes up to the left, so we gotta find a way to get beyond all of this. Well, we have the we can, uh, the boat launch. No, right? we can cut through here. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. A boat launch? You want to use a boat launch? So you're going to take a boat no, 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 to no. go around. You're going to no. go take a boat around. So we need to find no, a boat launch no, and a boat. The, no, there's the, uh, the the parking lot of the boat launch where the trail continues again. Oh, I see. Um, I know yeah. how we can get around. Go around the woods and then go around there. Yeah. I think Eva has the best idea. Look at these waves. Yeah. We can go around the woods. Okay. All right, we're going in the woods. <laughs> We do have a dead end, and I believe this one is not passable. There is no getting around yeah, it. Yeah, we keep coming to dead end, so I think we are pretty much um, done with the trail for today. Um, it, the Lake Shore Trail has become part of the lake at this point. So, why don't I share something else free to do, to do in Branson? Yeah, let's do it. Figure out what to do. There are the fountain shows every hour on the hour at the landing. And so there's water and fire shooting up, songs going coordinated to songs. And at seven o'clock, there's a double feature. So make sure to check that out. And then something else that's cool to see at night every hour on the hour is the electrify the um, light Ferris showy wheel. at the Ferris wheel at the track. And so that's pretty cool. The lights go to music on the Ferris wheel and that's fun to see. Something else free that we've done before is a Creation Museum tour. You can see the Creation Museum right there off of 65 as you're traveling south into Branson. And it is great. It's, it's very informative. Someone will lead you through and you can ask questions. You can, you can, you know, debate if you want to debate. They really know their stuff. And it's free. They um, will accept donations, but completely free. 
Let's see what else we got. Amy, what's the next thing on our list? All right. Free so and cheap in Branson, you Missouri. You do tours and tasting at some of the wineries in town. So you can go take a tour of the distillery, the winery, and then do some tasting if you want to do that. I think they may even have some juice if you have, you know, people under 21 in your party. Let's see, what else do we have? The Ruth and Paul Henning Conservation Area. And we have done some hiking there and that is some really cool hiking. And there are a lot of the locations that you would read about in Her Harold Bell Wright Shepherd of the Hills are in that conservation area. So if you are a history buff and you wanna kinda of look into some history of the Ozarks, that would be a great place to do it. And you know what I used to do for free and cheap when I was uh, when I was uh, in high school? What's, you, pool hopping? Uh, yeah, but oh, I don't recommend that. We, don't recommend, we, we, we do not condone pool hopping. And um, if John did that in high school, he was bad. I was, I was, I was wrong, I was yeah, wrong. Yeah. No, okay. I, I would cruise the strip. Oh, cruise the strip. I'd be in my, my, my four, my four door Ford blue Maverick, uh -huh. Ford Maverick, right? Uh -huh. And I would be cranking my low dollar uh, sound system. Okay. And I'd be doing all that I could to uh, pick up chicks. All right. It didn't ever it's work. It's a little bit harder, I feel, now to cruise the strip because there's usually bumper to bumper traffic. Traffic. So. But actually, that's what's fun. Oh yeah. Yeah. And you that's get how to, you, you pick up the chicks. You're going slow. Okay. You're seeing the sights. Right. You're, it's it, it's it's amazing. Okay. All right. So um, we locals often take the back roads, but I guess we're really missing out. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so I don't pick up chicks anymore. No, because you have you have a chick already. I do have a chick. <laughs> So something else for you to do is the fish hatchery when it's open. You can go in there, you can feed the trout. Now I think it costs, what, a quarter, 50 cents maybe to get the trout food, feed the trout. They kind of have a little visitor area where you can learn some things, but the fish hatchery is pretty cool. It's something the kids really enjoy. So there's a great option for you. Who doesn't love some shopping and sightseeing in downtown Branson? And while you're there, hop on the trolley, totally free. So something else free and cheap in Branson, College of the Ozarks. You can tour those beautiful grounds, check out the mill there, and the Ralph Foster Museum, which has some great history of the Ozarks. In fact, we have a video on College of the Ozarks, so check that out if you want to hear more about that. Don't forget about geocaching in and around Branson. We've done that as a family. It's taken us to shows, show parking lots, attractions, hiking spots. So it took us a little bit of everywhere in Branson. That was a fun way to get out as a family. And of course, we found some little treasures inside the little caches. So is it a cache or a cache? Oh, I don't know. If you know, comment below. Also, thanks for following along. If you know of other free and cheap things to do in Branson, please let us know. Let the community know. We'd love to hear it. And safe travels, everyone. Isn't it beautiful here? So, the so pretty. The sun is setting. The sun is setting.